Hi, my name is Shelter Sarah. I'm here in uh, Geneva for the first time doing a show at the BTW Gallery. And uh, the title of the show is Crossfade. And Crossfade it kind of relates to uh, you know, the recycling of cultures and how certain images of American culture have been taken from European origins and then, you know, re kind of uh, reorganized and represented. So what I've taken is some images of Disney castles and uh, Volkswagen Bug, also uh, some piggy banks and the image of uh, Mario. And a lot of these in American culture have a specific meaning, but the origins, I think, come from different things like Europe and Germany. And so some of these images in American culture are looked at just very superficially. And uh, so I'd like kind of to re-explore the origins and the archetypes of these images. And so some of the images come across as being very straightforward, but there's multiple depths to them, similar to uh, the processes that are combinations of the hand and digital. So uh, even the processes reflect, you know, the, the meaning in the sense that some of the work is on paper, some of the work is uh, cast bronze, some of the work is oil painting. So I think, you know, having a multitude of uh, ways of, of showing uh, images is part of what I'm interested in, as well as where the origins come from. Another aspect of the American dream in Manifest Destiny is the lawn, which kind of is an extension of one's home, which kind of relates to the Birkin bag, which is um, a cast uh, silicone, platinum silicone copy of an Hermes Birkin, which for me kind of relates to the notions of status and function and how certain things, you know, especially objects, can kind of transcend their initial function and become not only things of status, but of, uh, you know, parts of different cultures. So it's really kind of a symbol of dialogue and kind of an international kind of platform, yet you don't really know what they're talking about. And I think that that interests me in the sense that sometimes the meaning of things is overlooked and people will just view images kind of and take it for granted. So I think the depths of meaning goes beyond sometimes what people see and it has to do with asking questions about what they're looking at. And that's what I hope people get out of the show.